Irish NRC, and this is my long-term review of the Red Cat Gen 8 Scout 2. I believe I had this truck for a little over a year now since it first came out when I got it. And uh, this truck's been great. I ran it through snow, water, rocks, you name it, it never let me down. And I'm just going to show you guys some quick little things you could do to your truck to make it work better. But I had no problems with it. I did do a couple little things to it and I'll show you guys. But anyway, this is how it looks after all the use. I did switch the tires and wheels on it. These are those all stars. The only problem I didn't like on this truck, I'm going to tell you right now, is they had this lump on the bottom here. But now the new model, they came out with the brushless axe version. That has a flat skid, so you could get that and put it on your Gen 8. So that's good. And the only other thing I didn't like is the stock tires. The foams in them did not work good in the cold weather because they got really hard. But there's a trick you could do to those to make them work if you're not in freezing temperatures. Just get them and, and put water in them and squeeze them out so the foams are moist. And they'll stay soft in the cold weather as long as it ain't like freezing out where it'll freeze. They'll stay soft. So here's what it looks like. It's all scuffed up now. You could see my skid plate worked. Uh, there's a couple things I've did to it here and there. And I'm going to show you what they are right now once I take the body off. First off, what I did to mine is I took the Velcro off and I uh, got the sticky stuff off and I used that goop glue, shoe goo, and I glued it back on. See, I didn't do it to the chassis. The piece came off here. That's what I have to do now because this is getting old. You can see it's coming off. So I'm going to put the shoe goo on there and goop that down so it stays on like on the body here. All right, that's what you could do to improve it. Other improvements you could do, easy for this to take the bump steer away. I have all these mods on videos, you could check my channel. Grind the lump off on the servo arm there and put the screw through with a nut and that'll stop the bump steer because it makes the angle of this rod equal with the one behind there, the panhard rod. I'll show you. No bump steer. Easy, quick fix. Another thing you could do is, like I did, I just moved in the bumpers a little bit in the front and rear so they ain't sticking out as far so they don't get hung up. And the last thing that's worth doing because guys have broken the gears and the portals on this I haven't had a problem with mine because what I did is you get it stock and they have the slipper clutch set I just loosened it up a hair more so that way if you're driving say your wheel gets stuck in a rock and, and you know you can't get up and it's just stuck in there and, and you're trying to give it gas if you have the slipper clutch too tight you could damage the gears Loosen that up just a hair so when you get stuck it'll you'll hear it whine and slip that'll protect it more And I think you will save yourself from breaking the truck and the gears in there. So that's what I did to mine Overall I like the truck. It's awesome Didn't let me down once So if you're looking for a nice rig This is pretty nice. Just do a little tweaks to it. Like I said and you'll be set. I had no problems just loosen up that slipper clutch to save the gears in a bind. And also I put a more powerful servo but you really don't have to. You could run the stock one. So that's it on the long term review of the Gen 8. Great truck. I like it. There's a little things you gotta do to it to make it perfect but it's very easy to do. You don't have to spend any money hardly. 
you just do some minor little adjustments by yourself out of the stock parts and you could get it working really good if you want to spend some money you could upgrade the servo like I said that'll give you more power to the steering so overall beauty from me it's a good truck highly recommend it had fun with it since I got this when it first came out guys if you like my video leave me a thumbs up hit that bell for future videos and I'll see you next time I appreciate all your support guys Gen 8 equals beauty